Hi Aries, this is uh, Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your weekly reading for the uh, 20th to the 26th of July. We're nearly at the end of the month but we have come into Leo. So happy birthday Leo if you have Leo uh, around you or you might be a cross watcher happy birthday and we're going into a fiery energy so there might be uh, a lot of activity in the coming weeks okay I'm starting at Aries because Aries is house one and I'm pre-recording these uh, videos as I'm away <coughs> uh, for a couple of days. Um, I, I will try to go live on next Friday but I do have to go to hospital so if I'm too tired then I won't um, but um, uh, that's why I'm pre-recording these and I'm starting with the first house Aries. Okay Aries um, I'm going to do it a little bit different uh, this week as you can see I'm not doing my nine card spread spread but I'm doing the four day spread of the week Monday Wednesday Friday Saturday and Sunday and two Oracle cards and I will go in extensively into the mystical shaman Oracle deck okay I hope you will enjoy this and I hope you will have a great week I hope you will have enjoyed last week's readings and please sub and like and of course hit the bell and make sure that you are checking the channels that you like that you are still subbed um, because YouTube do, does remove people without them knowing it and also um, the, cre uh, the creators of um, the videos. So Aries, let's get started with the reading and this reading is for the 20th to the 26th and like I said we are already in another energy, the Leo, so it will be, it's fire, so it will be very active, although it is also holiday period. I'm sorry my cat has decided to sit <laughs> with me <laughs> at the reading so I'm going to leave her there, that's her tail literally and she's funny she usually comes and sits with Sagittarius so it must be significant that she's doing it with another fire sign Aries I'm starting at Aries because it's the first house on Monday you have the King of Swords and the King of Swords is Gemini so you might be meeting up with a Gemini or don't exclude Libra um, and Aquarius he will bring you news. This night will bring you news. The news will come through cyber. This could be through text message or email or even a phone call or the old fashioned airmail since it is an air sign. Okay, news will come to you on Monday the twenty the twentieth. Then on Wednesday we have the page of sorts, so you've got a lot of air in your week and in your reading so yeah we can't live without air can we so there will be news again or you might be meeting uh, Aquarius as page of uh, swords represents Aquarius and he will bring you news as well or she this could be a younger person than you Aries and of course the news will come through cyber again like the night um, telephone text message or email it might even be official news this could be a diploma this could be uh, if you are doing something with a judicial situation uh, could be about a tax return municipalities institutions could be sending you information or enlighten to you as to results of something I've got the feeling it is results of something okay now this will not rem uh, resonate with a lot of you but news is news isn't it or somebody that might be coming that might be a Gemini or an Aquarian that's coming to visit you 
Now we've got the Emperor on Friday and the Emperor represents you Aries, the sign Aries. If this isn't you then it could be an other Aries as well in your vicinity. Now the Emperor also stands for advisor of uh, institutions or municipalities. So um, this could be a bookkeeper, this could be a teacher, this could be a, a, a lawyer, a doctor, so you might be even getting news from your teacher or your headmaster saying you've passed your exams or a doctor saying that everything is fine. Um, and then we at the weekend we have the Ace of Wands and like I said we are going I uh, we are in the energy of Leo and the, a uh, the Ace of Wands means a new job so you could be receiving uh, news that you your application or your interview was a success that could be the director or the CEO of company <coughs> excuse me uh, the the ones also stand for creativity, uh, also for passion. So there could be a new person entering your life. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I've just had a private joke. I I heard toy boy. <laughs> I don't know why, but it might resonate with um, a diva out there that's getting a toy boy. <laughs> sorry, I'm trying to keep the humour in it as well. And they're giving me messages. I tell you, the angels and my guides do have a sense of humor. You know, the sense of humor doesn't stop when you pass over to the other side. Actually, I think you'll have more fun on the other side uh, than here on Earth. It will, and you've got the the other things as well. When you're on the other side, you miss the people that you've left behind. And this is a message for somebody. Must be. Um, don't worry. I love you. And that is what um, I, they're saying. It could be a, a, a toy boy. It could be a message for a toy boy. Look at it. The page of swords is usually a very young person, a teenager. Okay, sorry, uh, thanks angels for making me laugh. Um, so this could be an Arian, uh, Aries, um, a Leo or a Sagittarius. <laughs> it might be a message from one of them, okay? Or it could be a message from an air sign. Um, okay, sorry, <laughs> this is funny. I'm doing this already for more than 45 years and they still crack me up and amaze me. It doesn't, you know, nothing amazes me anymore. Um, anyway, I'm never alone, thank goodness. Sometimes I've got to send them away. And this reading is taking on a life of its own again. Anyway, you, there's a new beginning, passion, work, a hobby, or meeting a person, like I said. Wonderful, wonderful. I love this reading. It's special. Okay. And uh, now we're going on to the sun, and the sun is really Leo in nearly every deck or oracle deck as well. And I'm going to look, it's a beautiful cards. This is my newest deck of all. Look at the sun. And her headdress does represent a little bit like the mane of a Leo. Okay, it's bright time. Uh, the sun. The sun is acknowledged by many cultures as the foremost masculine force. In order, in other traditions, it is seen as a feminine in her full power, like Mother Earth. Either way, it is the most brilliant light for all beings and allows life to sprout from the dark, feminine Earth. It can be gentle and warming close to the sunrise or sunset, fall in or winter, or it can be destructive as it is zenith during the scorching summer. The invitation for the sun is, have you been hibernating? Have you been introspective? If or it is time to come out of your cave and savor the life-giving light of our star. 
the sun rekindles your passion and your creative energy. Life is calling you to shine your light and to add your lightness and humor to the seriousness around you. Get out and play and yes, a new hobby, a new beginning. Summertime is here. The sun is here. Wow. You are telling you to come out and let your inner child play and let your inner child out and be creative and enjoy life and be the beacon. Wow. This is also a beacon. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And if you have a card, uh, answer a question, sorry. <laughs> I'm getting all mixed up now. Have you got a question? The answer is yes. Will I have a new passion? Yes. Look at the men around you. Okay. Wow. And if you need advice, don't hesitate to ask for advice from a mature man. Could be a father, could be an other mature man that you have a lot of respect for, an advisor, a teacher, or a doctor, or a lawyer, or a bookkeeper. But I think, I don't know, you're going to get good news from an institution, perhaps a tax return. Okay, you are in your element Aries. You might even meet a, a soulmate and other Aries that thinks the same way as you. That's wonderful. Okay, I hope you will enjoy this week. Take care and I love you loads and please subscribe. I'm sorry it's a bit short but I want to get these done because I want to get the uh, romance readings done as well. So. Uh, the romance readings will be out after the general readings. So I hope you enjoy them. Take care and be blessed and stay safe. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, have a wonderful day and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell on all. And I'll see you in the life. Monday, Wednesday or Friday. Ciao, ciao.